You know, what's crazy is this channel right here, this channel right here is growing by almost 20,000 subscribers a month, this channel right here. And I don't think I've put in nearly the amount of work this month that I have in the previous months. I hate that when I put clothes and stuff back there, it looks really dirty. I gotta, I'll just, it's not dirty, it's just some laundry in the back, but yeah, it just doesn't look good. When you're living in a van down by the river. Welcome to the Dummy Kruger channel, everyone. Today's video takes us back to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we are once again taking a look at the latest shenanigans from everyone's favorite hazelnut spread connoisseur, Chile de Castro. Folks, I have some great news. Fun Chili is back and better than ever. After a short suspension from YouTube, Fun Chili disappeared for a while, but things are back to normal now that he's been arrested once again. In one of his latest videos, Chili is heading to a courthouse in Las Vegas to drop off a lawsuit where he intends to sue some dirty, filthy, no good coppers. But before he can go into the courthouse to drop off this lawsuit, Chili, never created a victim to Castro, must raise the necessary funds for his filing fee. For a more in-depth look into this new lawsuit, go check out Blue Bacon and or the delightful duo of Keeping It Criminal and Dogtective as they comb through the latest filings. Let's jump right into the video. But anyway, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sue Las Vegas Metro Police Department. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sue them. I'm gonna sue Las Vegas Metro PD. I'm gonna sue Las Vegas Metro PD for five million dollars. That's what I'm gonna do. Five million bucks. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why are we stopping at five million dollars, Chili? If we we're just gonna throw silly numbers out there, make it ten million. Hell, twenty million sounds even better. That's why I'm suing you. And that's why, and just so you know, Sorensen, Doolittle, Tory, Bork, Sorensen. Yeah, you already said Sorensen once there, Dunce Cap. But then Bork made up that there's First Amendment auditors, which I kind of identify myself more as a cop watcher, but I certainly do some First Amendment audits. And, and he decided, he said that First Amendment auditors are dropping the camera and pulling out a gun and shooting cops. And then I said, well, can you show me one example of that? And he couldn't. Bork, you're a lying piece of garbage, dude. So Chili is still running with the narrative that Officer Bork said this about First Amendment auditors. From all the body camera footage released thus far, all Bork said was some First Amendment auditors carry weapons, which we all know they do. He even goes as far as to mention this in his lawsuit. Let me talk about being governor for a second. So when you're the executive, what you can do, and you can do a lot of things, anybody can bring forth a new state constitution. So the state constitution where you live, it has to be written in the state constitution that if a cop is sued for a federal civil rights violation and found guilty, he can never be a peace officer again. What about that idea? What about that idea? Well, in my humble opinion, that idea actually sounds a little unconstitutional. Also, amendments to state constitutions, with the exception of Delaware, must be voted on by the citizens of that state. Governors do not have the power to amend their state's constitution, but you should know that given your 20 years experience in constitutional law. Every single state constitution has to be changed. The state constitution has to be changed. Now you know why I'm running for governor, because I understand how some of these things work. You guys, I'm like really smart now. You don't even know. For as much as Chile claims to be fighting against tyranny, he often makes these statements about executive power that are actually quite tyrannical. Look, I can't do what I really want to do. What I really want to do to Sandoval? Whoa, 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 whoa there, little fella. That took a quick turn. Where are you going with this, Chili? I can't say out loud. It, it, I'd get in trouble. Hmm, why would you get in trouble? What exactly do you want to do with this man? What I'd actually like to do to him? Okay, Chili, this is making me a little uncomfortable. I'd like to get a hold of that guy. I'd like to get a hold of him. You know, let's let let's see if he let I, I just you know it's Okay, now I officially have secondhand embarrassment. Let's move on before things get even more cringy. You have to spend thousands of hours on the mat to handle a real man. Damn it, Chili. I said we were moving on. 
those LOL suits, I guess they, they got some teeth, huh? The LOL suits, the, the, I guess they got some teeth. And just for the record, just so everybody here knows, I have not lost a lawsuit since I've started lawsuits. I've lost a couple motions. I've lost a couple restraining order hearings. I haven't lost a lawsuit yet. You also haven't won one yet, or even made it out of the batter's box on any of them. You also helped Yunez Lofty file a lawsuit in Texas last year, and that has been dismissed. But seriously, what have you won? Name one win in court. I'll wait patiently for your response. Okay, let's jump ahead to the best part. So I'm in front of the federal building here in Las Vegas, and what I need to do is I need to crowdfund $402 to file this lawsuit. That's what I need to do. Oh, well that's embarrassing. So if anybody is so inclined, uh, please post up my PayPal, my Venmo, my Cash App. I gotta raise 402 bucks right now to sue Las Vegas Metro Police Department. So in all honesty, how can anyone take this man serious? He drafts up a 20 something page lawsuit, drives to the courthouse, and before going in, he has to ask his followers for money for the filing fee. It's really beyond parody at this point, but I'm here for it and enjoying it. I gotta raise $402. This is a $402 fundraiser so that I can sue Las Vegas Metro Police Department. I'm gonna sue these people and I'm gonna sue them to the very end. And just so you guys know, this is a $5 million lawsuit. So any person who donates, I'll gladly give your money back once I win this lawsuit. That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. See this? That's a car. 275 thou. Might wanna hang on to that one. What a great strategy. You see guys, once I get paid my $5 million for suing these filthy coppas, you'll get your money right back. If I lose, well, you're kind of shit out of luck. I'm ready to sue these cops. I need to raise 402 bucks. That's what I need to do. One second. Bah. Did he just go straight snot rocket right on the sidewalk there? This is a fundraiser, y'all. If y'all can um, do me a favor. I, I, I would like to get like $5 from... from 80 people that's what i'd like to do i'd like to get i'd like to get five dollars from 80 people that way it doesn't really affect anybody's bottom line you know I, that's what i'd like to do there's lots of things i'd like to do i'd like to climb Kilimanjaro. i want to drive a supercar on the autobahn in germany i'd really like to take a mig 25 for a spin i want to walk the camino again a 500 mile pilgrimage through northern spain but if I ever get the opportunity to do any of these things, I won't be e-begging for those funds at the literal last minute, Peter Pan. Um, it's not weird that it's last minute. I do things last minute because I can't announce where I'm going to be. I can't announce I'm going to be at any location. If I announce where I'm going to be at any location before I get there, people will show up there. So chili bone, that makes absolutely no sense. You could have done this fundraiser at any time, and it doesn't require revealing where you'll be. Because as you know, whether I like it or not, the world is full of cops and cop suckers. So I have to make sure that, that I protect myself and protect my, 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 myself. For a split second there, I was actually a little sad that he couldn't think of anyone else he needed to protect. But then I remembered who we were discussing. Um, I appreciate you guys' help. I can't afford to sue all the cops I want to sue. I can't afford to sue all the people I want to sue. So, uh, yeah. So now I, I've, I have to do... One second, Alan. Am I count, if I count your 40, Alan, let me grab a rock. Hmm. So now you're looking for a rock? Maybe that explains this from earlier. One second. <laughs> uh. Aha. I think we all get it now. Hey. Can I help you? Yeah, I was going to file a lawsuit. Is that okay? You still got time at the clerk's office. Okay. You have to shut your phone off. Can't record okay. it here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, but just, I mean, it's just, I mean, obviously, I, I can't get around you guys, but how come that is, though? Why can't I record you? Because that's the rules that the judiciary staff has made. R right. Yeah. I, I'm not going to go into No, that. I know. Just you I know, know I know. I know. It's a violation of my First Amendment, but I know that. I'm actually suing cops to violate my, 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 my rights. Wow. I heard you guys. I'm not trying to walk past them. I'm just standing here. And my camera's facing outwards. You know, you guys asked me not to. So I'm not, I'm not being mean to anybody here. I'm being respectful. I just wanted a place where the wind wouldn't blow so I could put my paperwork down 
somewhere here. Yeah, be recorded. Okay, okay. And just, you guys did swear an oath to uphold the Constitution, right? You all did? But yet you stand here and say those things so aggressively. Like, look, look how hostile you're being. And you got walked up on me like this. But Like, I'm a nonviolent. I'm here to file a lawsuit. I, I heard what you said the first time, but you don't have to be rude to me. Like, I'm being, I'm being cordial to you guys. I'm, not, I'm being nice, am I not? Turn off the recording, <laughs> sir. I, you, I heard you. I'm walking out the door. <laughs> what the hell, Chili? I thought you were supposed to be fighting for our rights. You bounced out of there really quickly. These guys, these guys take an oath to uphold the Constitution, and then they stand there and say, you can't come in here with your camera running. That's the problem with our country. These guys right here. That's the problem with our country. Oh, I see now. That's the problem with our country. Not the rising inflation not affordable health care, not poverty or the crime rate, not the economy, not the affordability of a college education. No, none of that. It's that poor Chili De Castro cannot take his little camera into this courthouse. That's the problem with our country. I'm sitting outside Las Vegas uh, federal court building here. I have my lawsuit here to file against the Las Vegas Metro Police Department for abusing me, arresting me, and taking me to jail and telling me that, um, that they wanted to deter my behavior by arresting me for doing a First Amendment protected activity. And so because of that, I'm gonna sue them. So that was the gist of the video. At one point, someone actually asked for a refund for the donation they made to Chili. Chili mentions that he will return the funds if the donor requests it, but ends his live stream only moments later. Guys, I for one am glad Fun Chili is back to his old Ironton, Ohio ways, as the comedy of errors he'll probably make during this lawsuit will be enjoyable to watch. Remember, go check out Blue Bacon and Keeping It Criminal for an in-depth look at the actual filing. If you're looking for even more chili coverage, check out my friends Irish Demon, Coded Friends 00.1, and the Welsh News Network. I've linked all their channels below in the description. I want to thank everyone for stopping by today. If you want to see similar content in the future, please remember to subscribe, notify, like, and comment below. This is Dummy Kruger, and I'll see you guys on the next video.